welcome to my video. This is not Nita. This is breast cancer survivor husband. This is our septic tank that we're trying to fix. It's all fixed. It's just we're trying to make the grass grow now. And it's not coming in very good. So we're going to put more grass seed and more water. This is my major job of the summer. And I don't know if you could see pictures. Probably Nita took pictures before. But basically you couldn't even tell there were bricks here because so much tall grass had grown up here. Now we actually have corners and curves and cracks. And see, I washed it. I washed, I got all these uh, weeds and grass pull them all out of the cracks and it's like a brand new walkway and that's all secure so neither and I still have to secure we well, got some cement and right here it's the same as over there we just need to do some cementing um, spin around because Lulu had me all tangled up okay so these are pretty secure these see these are not secure at all so Nita and I are going to glue cement all those in across the bottom that's where they're gonna go And then we got to cement a couple on the second row and like one or two on the top row. And then even down here, I cleaned. This was really, really the worst. Um, <laughs> the boys had basketball down here. And not only did they have grass growing, it's still trying to come up. See, I have a little green there. But uh, they had uh, in the fall when all the leaves fall, all the leaves get all collected and they gather right in this little nook over here so this is what we're going to use to fill the cracks we only have two bags because we're poor we might have to borrow some from somebody but we take those sand we dump the sand on the, the uh, bricks and these really deep cracks you see the deep cracks there those get filled with the sand so we basically dump it and then we get a broom and we sweep the, the uh, sand into the cracks and then we wet it down and we pray a lot and hope that God makes it seal. This is, this is uh, 98 degree weather and I was a little angry that the bricks were popping out of the ground because this is another thing you probably don't see in the Philippines. So we'll get away from that. Lulu is a uh, change of seasons. They have what they call frost heaves. I'm sure you don't know what a frost heave is in the Philippines, but a frost heave is when the temperature in the ground is warmer than the snow and ice on top. And as it melts, the ground moves. And when the ground moves in the springtime, um, the bricks get moved all over the place. I don't know if I can show you. If you can look at an angle, see how these are lifted and how it kind of dips down in the middle a little bit? I did a good job getting these. These ones on the edge were really, really bad. Um, and then... I fixed everything right up until those two pieces that I got angry with a hammer and you know I was thinking what I was doing is taking the stones out completely then using a hand shovel digging down in the dirt as far as I could and then angling it down tapering it down so that the rock slides right back in place and it's level again that's uh, what patience does. This is the patience job over here. That's what I was doing. This is when I said, I'm sick of doing that. It's too hot out. And maybe if I just take a hammer and beat the hell out of it, it will go in place. Well, that worked on that, that first one. 
right by the bag. See the the white spots is my hammer hitting it. That knocked it down in place, which that worked. But then when I got over here, not so lucky. I broke the stone. So I was really upset that I broke the stone. So now this is this is my leftover from the cleaning job. This is all the dirt. I gotta clean this too, but that's my next job. I have a power washer, which is that blue thing up by the door. So basically it's it's high pressure water that goes through a machine and it sprays the dirt off the pavement and it sprays it out of those cracks too. That's what I use to clean clean this is a high pressure water treatment system. Which I happen to have. I bought one like probably 15 years ago. A friend of mine let me borrow it. And then he said that his parents didn't want it anymore. And I bought it off him, but I don't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't much, probably 50 bucks or 25, I don't know. Good friend of mine. This is what's left of our tree line. Just a bunch of stumps now. I got to get out here and mow. Eh, I just had four days off and I didn't get out here and mow. Or weed whack or whatever. I can usually do this with the hand mower. So. And. Picture across the way. The sun is setting. In the sky. Oh, and so today, well actually technically yesterday... That was our latest debacle or, or problem. Um, so last night when Chase came in the house, he shut the garage door, which is good. But <clears throat> he says, Dad, what was that great big crash? So I come down expecting to find something and nothing's broken. And then I look at the garage door and it's leaning one way. So I... Um, realized that uh, it was broken so luckily I very luckily was able to find somebody that came out and fixed it today but the good thing is I found somebody and it got fixed the bad thing is I paid through the nose through it Need is mad because I paid way too much if I had gone through the guy I wanted to go through it would have been probably one third of what I paid but but he's not really a garage door guy he builds houses for a living so it's hard to get a hold of him. Although, he's good to me. Bob Diamond. He's always been good to me. Look, more wild roses. Look at that, honey. You got wild roses out here, too. Dress our stump up. What are you doing? Cutting off the non-flowering part? Yeah, that's not. So let's make sure we didn't have enough to flower. More flower. There's one that. over here. There's one right here. And one right there. What are you doing for that? Uh, you... nope. I guess I'll end the video. Subscribe, thumbs up. <laughs>